Glory to God. Welcome to the next session on faith that we have been teaching on now for five weeks, going into our sixth week, our sixth session uh, on faith. We're now talking about what is faith. That's right. What is actually faith? Because if God requires us to have faith, Mm -hmm. if he requires us to live by faith, walk by faith, you know, to be saved by faith, we need to we need to know what faith is. Yep. You know, and if God requires this out of us, if he didn't give us the access and the ability to get faith, then that would make him unjust. Yeah. That's right. You know, he'd be requiring something out of us <laughs> that would be impossible for us to do. But not only does he require it, he gives us the ability. I mean, even in, in Romans twelve and three it tells us he, he gives us the measure of faith. Yep. So he's put it inside of us already, and we got to know how to work it, know what it is. How to grow in it. That's how right. To grow it. That's right. Because faith, like we said in one of our earlier sessions, faith is just like a muscle. It'll grow. Yep. If you will exercise that faith, it'll grow. Mm-hmm. It, may be, it may be something small today, but in six months, if you'll work that faith, you'll be believing for bigger and bigger and bigger things. Yep. Sure Amen. will. So today we're going to talk about Abraham's faith, which is uh, stated that he is the father of our faith. Yeah. So we're going to read in Romans chapter 4. We're going to start in verse 16. It says, Therefore it is of faith that it might be according to grace, so that the promise might be sure to all the seed. How much of the seed? All. So it says it's it's according to God's grace, but it says it is of faith. It's through faith. That's right. By grace, through faith. So, you know, it's our faith that will access the grace of God in our life. Yeah. You know, and just like he told, you know, Paul, he says, my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is is good enough for you. My grace is for you. Mm -hmm. You're going to access that grace with faith. Yep. And it says it: the promises of God are to all the seed. Mm, all the seed. We're fixing to find out who the seed is. I'll tell you what, we can get it right. <laughs> you go, keep reading. I, I'll go to Galatians 3. Uh, all right. It says, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham. Yep. Who is the father of of us all. That's right. All right. So he says that Abraham is the father of us all. He's the father of many nations. You know, that was the promise that God made him. In Galatians 3, it says, For you are all children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many as of you have been baptized into Christ, you have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek nor bond nor free nor male or female. There you, are, you are all one in Christ Jesus. In verse 29 right here. And if you be Christ, if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and you are heirs according to the promise. So he's talking about, um, therefore it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end. The promise would be sure to all the seed. He's talking about you and I. He's talking about all of us. That's right. We are the seed of Abraham. He is the father of us all. And at verse 17, it says, As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. Mm -hmm. So that's what God told him. God spoke to him. He said, I have made you a father of many nations. When Abraham didn't have a seed, when Abraham was too old to have kids, Mm -hmm. when his wife had a a dead womb, couldn't (laughs) have no babies, um, God spoke to him and said, I've made you a father of many nations. You know, he wasn't even a father of one child. But God said, I've made you a father of many nations. Good Lord. In the presence of him who he believed God. So he believed. He had faith. When God spoke, how's faith come? Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. That's right. So he heard the word of God. when God was. Which was faith. Well, no, it Uh, was, I uh, have made you a father of many nations. Yep. So he, when he spoke that into him, he had a he had a choice to believe it. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. 
That's right. You know, sometimes, you know, <clears throat> the just say you got a preacher up there preaching, those words are going forth. That receiver, that yeah. person is not receiving those words. I mean, it's just like hitting a brick wall. It's yeah. like hitting this wall behind us, mm-hmm. you know, and it's falling, you know. But that person, when they receive that word, mm-hmm. that word, it don't hit the wall. It actually goes into them, you know, and it goes Good into Lord. them. Then, hey, it becomes faith. That's right. It begins to work. It begins to grow. Mm. <clears throat> but it says, you know, God spoke to him and said, I've made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. So God calls things that be not as if they already were. So when, when God stepped out into darkness and, and he didn't say darkness flee or you know whatever, he said light be he spoke the end result he's only said everything that he wanted to see Mm -hmm. my goodness every time i read the scripture i think about joanne yep you know it in february of 2021 you know during a tiktok live well actually i I had a lady born again and wanted to be baptized yep so we did a zoom call baptism with her and didn't know the lady, didn't know anything about her. You know, we do now. She's good friends with her now. Mm-hmm. And uh, But when we were doing this Zoom call baptism, she was in a wheelchair. You know, and she was trying to get over into the bathtub. She was going to baptize herself, and we were going to speak the word over and pray over. Woo. And <clears throat> she grabbed her leg, and she said, if I can get my dead leg over into this bathtub, I'll be all right. <laughs> Well, what's verse 17 says? It says, he gives life to the dead. And it says, he calls those things that be not as though they do. Mm, That that do not exist as though they did exist. gosh. And immediately when I heard her say that, that went off in me, that scripture right there. You know, so after the baptism, we told her, we said, said, look, let's let's talk. We want to share the word with you right here. Mm -hmm. You know. And we shared Romans 4, 17 with him. We said, from this point forward, don't call your leg your dead leg, but call your leg your healed leg. Well, this was on a Wednesday night. She received the word just like Abraham yep. did. She believed the word. Mm-hmm. And on, on Thursday, we got a message from her that said, I got a Charlie horse or a cramp in my left leg, <laughs> the leg that's supposed to be dead. Well, on Friday, we got a video of her wiggling her toes on her left leg. Mm-hmm. And on Saturday, we got a video of her walking across her living room floor. <laughs> that was in Go Feb- ahead and tell them about the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> that was in February. Well, Easter weekend, her and her family came down from, from Missouri. 14 to, hours. To central Mississippi to meet us and to be with us and to be baptized in person. And we met her at the Mexican restaurant over here in our town where we live at. Hadn't seen anything out of her as far as, well, I mean, she's on our lives all the time. Yeah. Hadn't seen a video of her or anything like that since she sent us the one with her walking across her living room. And I'm talking walking like a new, like a, a newborn, yeah. not a newborn, but a toddler learning to walk, you know. Yep. And um, when we walked in that Mexican <laughs> restaurant... So she jumped up and run across that. Oh my, restaurant. We're like, where's the cane? Yeah, <laughs> you where, know what I mean. Where's the walk? I ain't where's gonna the lie. Cane? Yeah, like you was barely walking last time we seen you. What happened? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking you, two months later. My gosh, she Woo. got up and testified in our church and run laps around our church, giving God glory. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it says that God quickens the dead. He gives life to the dead. And God calls those things that be not as if they already were. I mean, that's exactly how he gave life to Abraham and Sarah. Sarah had, Sarah had a dead womb. That's I right. mean, that's what Hebrews 11 says. That's what uh, Romans 4, Genesis 15. Sarah had a dead womb. 
I mean, he was dead wounds don't have babies. He was seventy five years old when he first received the promise, and then he had to come back twenty five years later and remind them of it. That's right. So he was ninety nine years old. She was ninety years old. You get to thinking about in the natural. Everything about them was dead. That's right. Everything about them was dead. But because God called those things that be not as if they already already were, he quickened the dead by calling those things that be not as if they already were. He said, I've made you a father of many nations. Mm -hmm. You know, because he spoke that word and they believed that word, they received that word. It produced everything that, that it said that it was going to do. It gave them the promised child. It gave them. It made him the father of many nations. It quickened her womb. It quickened his loins, everything about him. My goodness. <clears throat> you know, that's what he did for Abraham, and that's what he did for her. Yep. You know, that dead leg, he gave life to it. Because she because, said. Because she received that word, and because she obeyed the word. Yep. She, she began to speak the word. This is my healed leg. My gosh. No longer was it her dead leg. She started calling those things that be not, that did not exist as though they already did exist. Mm -hmm. I was trying to make an Instagram video today, a, a reel or whatever, short, TikTok, whatever you want to call these things. And uh, I, w I was sitting in the car and it started raining. It got too loud for me. And wind got, uh, so I opened the door one time, went out there and tried to do it. And the wind got too loud. You couldn't hear me. And it was 90 something degrees. I was like, what in the world? But the video that I was wanting to do, <clears throat> and I got this from Charles Caps. I was listening to him the other day. And he said, if God's word is his will, shouldn't your word be your will? <laughs> Golly. I mean, I, that hit me like a ton of bricks this morning at three something. I was like, oh, yeah, I wrote it down. So I got to do a video about that today. You know, <clears throat> God's word is his will. If you're not willing to be broke, sick and hungry, quit letting it come out of your mouth. That's right. I mean, really, if unless you're willing to be sick. Quit, uh, quit saying I'm sick. Quit claiming it. Well, we're talking about what faith is. Yeah. What you're speaking out of your mouth is your faith speaking. That's right. That's exactly what your faith is, what you're speaking out of your do mouth. You, do you have a spirit that is built up on faith, on the Word of God, or do you have a doubting, unbelieving spirit right. that is weak and dead? Mm -hmm. Your mouth all will always... Tell the condition of your heart. Mm -hmm. uh, Norval Hayes. That's, that's right. what he says. I believe it. The Word of God says it too in uh, Matthew chapter 12. From the abundance, abundance of, the, of heart. the heart, your mouth is going to speak. Right. Yep. At that, man, it, it tells you what's inside. If all, if all you're listening to <laughs> is, is the uh, complaining, the, the bad report, the bad things, that's what's getting established in your heart. Yeah. Well, that's why Joel said, let the weak. Any of y'all ever feel weak in here? I mean, I'm just being honest. In the natural, sometimes we get weak. That's right. He says, let the weak say, I am strong. He don't say, let the weak complain and murmur and talk about how tired they are. That's right. He said, say, I am strong. I am strong. I'm a mighty warrior for God. I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. There is a reason that God said in Proverbs, there's life and death in the power of your tongue. The power of your tongue. And until, I mean, you just take Abraham, for instance. He got the word. Yeah. God changed his name to Abraham. <laughs> he had to receive that because Abraham meant father of many nations. Yeah. He had to receive that and start telling everybody, I'm Abraham. I'm Abraham. Why are you Abraham? Why did you change your name to Abraham? So it. So he had life coming out of his mouth every time he said, my name's Abraham, nice to meet you. I'm yep. Abraham. That This guy was Abram three days ago. Now I come to buy this sheep I've, I've been talking about, and he's done changed his name to Abraham. What are you talking about? I'm, my name's Abraham now because God called me a father of many nations, and I believe it. That's right. And you know, and not only was he now, now that he's telling everybody, my name is Abraham, He's got his servants, everybody, his wife, his everybody around him. Hey, One hundred fifty thousand people call on those things that be the not. Where's the father of many work. nations? At? <laughs> father of many nations. I need, I need some sheep over here. We need some hay over here for the sheep. You know, <laughs> father of many nations. You know, everywhere Boy, we that go. fires me up thinking about that. I mean, you just picture them. I mean, how many servants you reckon he had? 
ain't no telling. It, it was a bunch. Because oh, the yeah. first thing that God did was make him rich. Yep. He gave him land, gave him possessions, and all of that. He didn't work it all himself. He had people <laughs> to work it for him. He had people under him helping him. Oh, my gosh. You know, and all of these people were speaking life. Hey, father of many nations, father of many nations, so, calling those things that be not as though they were. So faith would be believing God, trusting God, and acting on everything that he has said to you. That's it. Believing it and acting on it. That's what, that's what faith is. That's what faith does. It believes it and it acts on it. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Believing the God, believing the word, acting upon the word, acting like the word is true. Not yeah. acting like what we're seeing over here is true, but acting like the word of God is true. That's right. You know, walking by, by what it looks like, you know, you'll give up. You'll give up today because you've got doctor's reports, you've got uh, you've got bank bank account things pulling up on your phone. You got mail coming in saying you owe this and that. You got all these things set before you, showing what everything looks like in the natural. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'd be easy to give up if that's all we went by. Yeah. So we see right here how Abraham's faith operated. The father of our faith. We see how God's faith operates right mm -hmm. here, where He calls those things that be not as though they were, and also Abraham began to call those things as as uh, that be not as though they were. Yeah, that do not exist, exist as though they did exist. But Abraham was acting like his father. Yeah. Hey, and look, says, Ephesians 5, 1, be therefore imitators. That's right. Imitate, okay. imitate your father. So it says right here that Abraham is the father of us all. Yeah. So who should we act like? Our, just like him. Act like Abraham, which would be acting like God. Yep. Start calling those things that be not as though they were. This is, I mean, this is how, this, I, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. Yep. When you begin to call those things that be not as though they were, you're hearing yourself. You're hearing yourself say these things, saying the word of God over your life. That's building your faith. That's yep. how your faith comes right there. And you know, if you will go through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you'll see Jesus in his in his healing, his miracle work and ministry, everything that he did that he did, he done the same thing. He called those things that be not as though they were. He looked at somebody sick and said, Be healed. That's right. Take up your mat and walk. Take up your mat and walk. I you know how do you? How does a paralyzed man take up his mat and walk? Exactly. He called those things that be not as if they already were. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. Those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. If God's word is his will, your word needs to be your will. That's it. Mm. If you will do that, it will be life changing. That's right. You will get you. I mean, when you come into agreement with the word of God, your will <laughs> becomes just like God's will, you mm -hmm. know, the Word of God. And you will walk in it. That's right. That's right. Jesus is Lord. And He's coming soon. Y'all be blessed.